Hey, welcome to our camp in Sedona, Arizona. I think the last time that I published a video, we were camping right outside of Zaya National Park on the uh, west side by a town called Virgin, Utah. And since then, we went through Zaya National Park. We camped right outside of a town called Kenab. We stayed there for a day or two. Um, we finally got to see the, um, the fall colors starting to turn, as you'll see with this picture here, with the, uh, with the sunshine just sort of spotlighting Chaz as he's goofing off in the creek. And then after that, we went to a campground right outside of Page, Page Arizona. Um, we're gonna have to get back to that campground. I'll probably make that the last thing that we talk about. We also went through the Grand Canyon. It was everything that you would think the Grand Canyon would be, although we were pretty rushed. And we found a place to camp, which was actually uh, just right outside of the park. And it was a national forest, Khabib National Forest, I think it was. And we stayed a night there. We visited a the old forest tower, the forest fire watchtower. Uh, I think it was built in the 1930s. And then we decided to go to this old abandoned airfield. It was the oh, Grand Canyon Airlines. It was uh, the home base of uh, scenic tours and stuff like that for the area. And that's since moved, but I thought it would be great to go check that out because I'm a big dork that way. So I think that pretty much gets you caught up in regard to where we've been. But that BLM Beehive campground, you know, since I've been doing this, there have been a handful of times where I get really excited about a particular campground and I'll see the reviews and I'll get jacked and then I get there and I sort of feel deflated. It's not the experience that I was hoping for. This particular case was just the opposite. You know, I was expecting to not even get in. I thought it was going to be sandy and, you know, the, the van might get stuck, so I might just turn around or that it would be full because it was right outside of Page, Arizona. But it wasn't. It was a small campground and there were some really cool people there. Uh, shout out to uh, Rob and Ben if you're watching this. It was just, it was perfect in a lot of ways. It was, the weather was perfect, the company was great, and it was a place where the dogs could explore. There was a nice hiking trail that, well, if you're just going to have to see the footage, and I think you'll get some idea as to um, why I liked it and certainly why the dogs liked it. So check it out.
this love has passed Like the seasons do I can see the sun I think I'm falling in love with you You're always mine So I don't know if you could see the dog smiles or not, but they were, they were there. Uh, Chaz and Lucky just had an absolute brilliant time there. Now that's it for me. I, I'm going to get things ready to uh, pack up and, and get out of here, but uh, here's one last video clip that I wanted to show you. This is our longest Astro time lapse to date, and it was taken right here at our camp in Sedona, Arizona. So that's it. I am Tim. I am untethered and maybe uh, a bit unglued too. Have a nice evening. Bye now. Try to catch me howling at the moon.